I'm Lauren Thompson. Sherry is off tonight. Tenants who live in low income housing are concerned about their homes being sold to an investment company. We're talking about homes managed by the Lansing Housing Commission, which happens to be meeting right now. Daryl and Horn is live outside that meeting. She's here for you now with more on what some residents had to say. Daryl Yes, the Lansing Housing Commission, they manage several Section 8 homes here in the area. And while many of these residents, or people I should say, have lived in these homes for nearly 10 years, not only do they have to worry about maintenance requests, they now may have to find a new place to stay because their homes are up for sale. I don't like to live like this. And just because we're low income, I really just don't see why it's acceptable. Cynthia Paddock says although she's able to buy her home she's lived in for the past five years, the condition makes it not worth buying. But now that the Lansing Housing Commission has a new deal with SK Investments based in Miami, Paddock and other Section 8 residents are worried. After they sell the homes, if I'm going to even have a home later down the line because I really don't know what they're doing. I'm confused. I'm scared. You know what I mean? Because this is where I live. I got two kids. I'm a single mom. This isn't easy. An advisor to the Lansing Human Relations and Community Service Commission says many residents who have submitted pre-approval information to buy their homes have been ignored. That's despite their condition. She says some homes have black mold and broken windows. Some homes I visited today have broken doorknobs, leaking ceilings, and more mold that has also been ignored. And oftentimes English is not their first language. So we need to be a little bit more considerate and sensitive and inclusive to making sure that every single resident underneath this public housing authority has been able to understand their rights and what to do going forward. Executive Director of the LHC, Doug Fleming, admits there are problems and that they haven't gotten around to fixing them all. But of the roughly 230 homes being sold, the people renting right now will have a fair chance to stay. You have to show progress that you're moving towards a home ownership situation. If they are, we will work with you. And we will work with you right up to the end of the sale, which is still not going to happen until probably October or November. But Burnett says she's concerned this will overpopulate homeless shelters. It can take easily three months to find another apartment. So where are these people going to go in the interim? Now, Fleming says the deadline to apply to buy your home is this coming Friday, but there is actually a group here tonight who want to extend that deadline to 30 more days so that people have enough time to gather their paperwork. Here for you in Lansing, Darylin Horn, 6 News.